Hey, what's going on guys? So today actually we're gonna address some issues with my Miata right now. And one of the things that we're gonna be addressing today is that. So long story short, <clears throat> a couple months ago I got hit. It was a hit and run. It was like I was coming back from work and this guy, this car just pulled out of nowhere and just, just hit me and booked it. So I'm gonna be removing the battery and I'm gonna be hammering it out all in one piece. I mean, it's not perfect or anything like that, but I did was able to get it out. I'm not sure if you guys can pick it up, but it's no longer dented in. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's got a couple bumps and stuff, you know, it's a little rough still. It's got a couple, you know, like I said, a couple bumps and stuff, but other than that, and then, I mean, this part right here, it is a little sunken in a little bit there, but that's because I can't really reach that far in because if you notice, you see that brace right there? There's a brace right here. Or there's like a little tunnel in there. So I can't really get a hammer in there, but I'll just have to bondo over that. We're gonna go to AutoZone and we're gonna get some bondo. Because as I showed you guys in the previous clip, um, pretty much that's that's as, as best as it's gonna get as far as me taking the dent out. Um, honestly, I'm really happy because I just saved myself a lot of money going to a body shop. All right, let's go to AutoZone. AutoZone, we got the primer, we got some filler sandable primer, we got the Bondo, and we got some other stuff. Alright guys, so we're getting ready to go ahead and Bondo. Today is day two of the, of fixing my dent. <laughs> so, kept sanding it a little bit more. Um, I was able to pull out this small, small, small dent. You can barely see it there with this little suction cup but yeah so we're gonna get ready to bond the way So that's the first semi layer. So hopefully everything goes well. If not, you can always sand it down. Hey okay guys, so just a little update here. Uh, the, it just keeps getting better and better. I've like this from this part right here to right about here. It's like perfect. Literally it's just a couple little spots where I, you can see I used a little uh, Sharpie where it needs a little bit more, but I mean, they're pretty much nothing and then right here it just needs because it kind of dips in and it, it does dip but not dip and up and over it's supposed to be like a constant just like dip i don't know it's weird but we got my homie victor with this rsx it's clean dude yeah. so want to tell him a little bit more like what are you done to it uh hold their intake uh we're on a hunt for wheels and uh we're also on a hunt for miata Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, we went to go see one here, actually in town. Very, it's a, it was pretty local. 
it was actually really nice it was an m edition um i mean everything was going for it except it didn't have ac that's, that's yeah killer. yeah it was a killer especially here in southern california um it is well here in this area it gets like to about 115 in the summer so you definitely need ac so that was a killer that's the reason why we didn't pick it up but we're looking at some other ones and who knows? We might we might see one. Uh, who was it? Monday or Tuesday? Yeah, might have another one in the squad. <laughs> yeah, another one. So that'll be five Miatas total with DJs, Jose's, mine, and now and Josh's, and then now Victor's. So so yeah, that's just a little update for you guys on this. We're gonna just apply another light coat of Bondo, and we're gonna finish sanding it, and hopefully we'll put some primer on there. Too. We already got it sanded down to. Uh, we used uh, 150 grit and we used a 240 grit uh, sandpaper. And we use this um, orbital sander that Victor let us borrow. So, uh, so pretty much, uh, we're gonna primer it. Uh, which it's like a filler sandable primer, and uh, we're gonna do a method that Victor told uh, uh, told us we should try. Just spray it on there lightly, and then pass it with uh, light sand, and it should sand evenly. If it doesn't, then we got some spots that are higher than others. So, hopefully, everything sands even and we can, we're that much closer to finishing this panel. But other than that, everything's coming out really smooth. Really, really happy with the results, so. We got the first, well, yeah, the first coat of primer on. I mean, really? So far, it's looking really good. Today we are going to be painting that right there. I had to go over it a couple times with Bondo um, and a little, a little bit of this glaze putty. Let me show you. So now we're just gonna mask off the car one, one more time so we can go ahead and lay down the primer and the paint. And then we're also going to be painting this. We already, I already polished this. You could probably see there, but I already polished it. I already kind of grinded off these little nuts right here. And um, we're gonna, if we have enough paint, we're gonna be uh, painting that also. You just remain as calm as possible. Make the deal go through. If not, here's 12 shots. We know how you do. Please make your killings clean. Slugs up in between. The eyes like this uh, duplicate color prep. So you can remove all the weak uh, wax, dirt, and all that. My fingerprints and all that good stuff. So the car is already, yeah, I know, it looks <laughs> pretty horrible, but it'll do the job. So now we're just gonna do this. Now that the car's messed up, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and get ready to, to do these. So right there, that's the base coat. And then around the back, Mazda. So, and then this is the, the clear coat. So pretty much, um, I got these off Automotive Touch Up. These guys are not sponsoring this video or anything. I just went online, uh, looked for a company that, that did touch up paint. Hopefully this one can should be enough for that whole dent and part of that finished panel in the back and a little bit of the bumper. We'll see. Show you guys how it's coming out so far. Um, honestly, I think it's really good. I've actually the spray can. Eh, it's got a weird way it lays out. Um, it's I don't really I didn't really like it that much. I honestly didn't like it that much. I've actually seen other spray can aerosol cans that spray a little bit more even, a little bit better than this one. But I mean, hey, whatever, you know. What he I already had it, so let me show you. 
stretch, I bet they pussy. The seven digits push me, fucking real. Here's the deal, I got a hundred bricks, 14.5 a piece. Enough to cop six, buy the house on the beach. Supply the piece with cheeks, brick a piece, capiche, everybody. So, I actually kind of messed it up. I don't know if you see that. That little drip, but, oh well. Probably fuck the robbery. I'm the boss. Promise you won't rob him. I promise. But of course, you know I had my fingers crossed. So I'm gonna have to get paint for this, but it's okay. I'm not really too bummed about it. Um, other than that, pretty good. We're gonna call it a day today. But other than that. We're gonna be applying the clear coat probably tomorrow, hopefully once it dries out and everything, so. Alrighty guys, so we picked up two more cans um, there was a two can minimum which kind of sucked but I only needed one more but this is from a local store uh, here in town um, I didn't want to wait another week for the for the stupid I didn't want to wait another week and so I just decided to pick it up so yeah let's get to the garage We are finally done. Oh my gosh, that was definitely a little trip here. Um, honestly, the car came out amazing. I mean, honestly, I didn't think it would come out this good. This is the first time I ever do any type of body work or painting or, I mean, I've done like little spray can, you know, paints, but I mean, this actually looks pretty professional. Um, and the way it looks right now is just spot on. So let me show you guys. Check that out. Oh my God, okay, can, you can barely tell, like right there. Alrighty guys, so I hope you guys liked this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe. If you guys are new, consider subscribing. Hope you guys like this video. Catch you guys on the next one.